For many people, life is about order. But what happens when that order is disrupted? It's been a lot harder for me, actually. Jacob Ruth is a senior at Bishop Matchbuff High School and made the switch to remote learning on March 18. It's tough, especially for kids that have special needs. Tina Ruth says her son is on the autism spectrum and learning through a video chat doesn't really work. But he definitely is not getting as much out of school now as he was when he was in school. It's horrible for me, actually, because I used to like being in the classroom with people. Change is a challenge, the rearranging of life's order, according to Dr. Annette Nunez. Well, the way I look at it is this, is that we're not maybe necessarily keeping up with the academics, and that's okay. Because right now, what we're teaching our kids is flexibility, and that's a life skill. Nunez says changing the schedule of special needs students like Jacob is significant. And it can cause anxiety and stress in which they can become behavioral, um, they can lash out, maybe physically, verbally. I haven't seen regression, but he's definitely doing more things that he used to not do. I think it will be draining on parents. Nunez worries about parents with younger children with autism trying to learn online. You have to be really overly animated, maybe using different voices to keep their attention. Isolation has been difficult with people who've been on the spectrum, actually. And if I was about around five years old, as my mom said, then it would be so challenging for me. Especially since no one really knows when remote learning will end. But if you're at home and your parents are trying to work and they're working out of the house or maybe they're back at their jobs, I don't know if it's sustainable for the average disabled child that really needs that one-on-one -on -one support. Children with autism and developmental disabilities, they feel the um, nonverbal stressors of the world a hundred times more than we do. I can go a little insane because it, the isolation's been difficult for people. But... <laughs> a fact of life until order can be restored. Nelson Garcia, 9 News.